All right, guys, welcome back to this video segment. We just learned in the previous video segments in this workshop about juniper and about lemongrass essential oils. So if you haven't seen that video, just scroll up till you get to it. And we now understand why we want to include juniper and lemongrass into our routines to really help and love our kidneys. But this portion is going to be all about loving your bladder. So I want you to know that if you only have two essential oils available, juniper and lemongrass are going to be your go-to guys. However, some of you guys have the ab ability and access to get Melrose essential oil. So if you have Melrose essential oil, I want you to grab it off your shelf right now. Pause this video so that you can follow along with us. If you have Melrose right now, deep breath. It's very interesting in its smell because Melrose is actually a blend of four different essential oils, okay? You're going to smell the notes of tea tree, also known as Melaleuca, that are one of the single oils that comprise this blend. There is also um, clove. So clove is going to be that little spice that you get. So you get very clean smelling crisp tea tree paired with clove. There is also rosemary that is in this, as well as naoli, okay? Now these four single essential oils, when you put them together, they synergize, they formulate this beautiful, beautiful blend. And in some cultures, they believe that these oils have strong antiseptic properties. So if you have any cuts, if you have any lesions, if you have any abrasions, scrapes, that this is an oil blend or even some of the single oils that I mentioned that certain cultures believe that they'll put on their skin and it will really help for those anti properties. Okay. So in supporting your skin and your body from the outside in. However, for the purposes of this workshop, I want you to know, take a look right here. Okay. <clears throat> that some people believe that this, the oils in this blend help to repair damaged tissue. Okay? And if that isn't enough, some people and some cultures also believe that Melrose is really good at supporting healthy levels against inflammation in the body. Hmm. So if you think about this, think about what's going on with your kidneys. Perhaps maybe they fall into one of those categories and this is an oil blend that you want to explore. Think about your bladder. Maybe you've had trauma there. Maybe you've had surgeries there. Maybe you're holding a lot of emotions there as well. I'd strongly suggest that you get this beautiful, beautiful oil called Melrose. All right, guys? So in the comment section below, what I would like for you to do is tell me, do you have access to Melrose? Have you smelled it? What are your thoughts on it? Or is this an oil that you're going to put on your wish list? Share below.